Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link's fourth anniversary is on the way. Soon we will be celebrating four years of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, us as a community, as duelists who has blazed a trail into a different dimension of dueling, my boy. We will be celebrating that coming very soon. With that celebration comes the introduction of the game to new countries and new areas. And apparently, we're really excited to be bringing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links to China. YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by These Dank Duelists. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. What's going on my boys, YT Dan back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. And this video is very different my boy because a lot of stuff is going on and I wanted to point out and bring to your attention the ridiculousness, the hilariousness of all the new censorship coming out of China. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but there is a ton of censorship in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Regardless of the country you're from, you might see the type of censorship that is going to remove uh, religious iconography, sexuality, is gonna remove guns, weapons, pretty much anything controversial. But some of the silliest, most ridiculous, cringe-worthy censorship is coming out of China as the game will be releasing there um, or is released there uh, pretty soon. It, it feels like it's not even Yu-Gi-Oh anymore when you look at some of these images, honestly. Like take a look at your boy Skull Servant. This man right here is definitely a prime example of censorship gone too far. Is this man even a skull servant anymore? Is <laughs> you've removed his entire bone daddy persona. If this man is only a hooded finger with bony hands, basically he's Skeletor. And if he's Skeletor, I'ma need a better effect and an attack point boost. Look what they did with the Crimson Sunbird. They removed the skull from the claws. Now he's perched on a rock. So again, ridiculous. And another one I wanna point out, this has nothing to do with a bone, but this has everything to do with skulls and other things. I just don't really understand why they did this. So this monster has an eyeball in his mouth and clearly is a skull with wings. But for some reason, they have changed the hands They've changed the eyeball into like a rock or an orb, and they changed the face to just this generic <laughs> sad face. Like this is what my depression looks like. <laughs> God damn it. And look what they did to Skull Invitation. Basically, you're gonna be inviting your opponent to, to become some kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of common writer, I guess. I don't know why, instead of just this I guess reduced skin, reduced muscle, skull with horns had to be changed to a common Rider mask. I really don't understand that, but that's the hilarity of these censorships. We've even, we've got even more where they've removed the skull from the monster and pretty much replaced it with a mask or, or something random. You have Royal Tribute. Royal Tribute shows um, a bunch of skull spirits coming from a door they just changed it to a bunch of coom stains so i guess now it's the coom tribute now here's another one my boy that's full of my depression when you look at the boy mock you the magical mist it used to have a skull in the sky and that skull was raining down judgment upon them basically you've replaced the skull with a disappointed dad who's mad <laughs> that your grades are slipping in school <laughs> This is the face of my depression. This is what it looks like. Now, the shallow grave is another hilarious uh, fix. They basically, I think what they did was they took the skull persona and replaced it with this ghost rider random fire thing. But what's hilarious about it, they still kept the uh, original pieces to the mask on the card. So you have this skull fire thing, but then you got the bone thing still remaining. It's pretty weird, but you know, it's whatever. This is what they choose, my boy. And then look at spiritualism. Spiritualism puts a card back 
a spell a trap on the field back into the opponent's hand. Look at what they did to it. They basically just gave him pupils, and that just makes it look fucking weird. Like, it was just Skull Spirits. Now it's Skull Spirit with eyes. <laughs> so now it looks proper creepy. Now it's ready to be added to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Here's some more sinister stuff that they changed, which is pretty hilarious. And I really want to point out, <laughs> before I really go into the two zombie monsters I want to talk about, I want to talk about what they did to the magic planter, I think it's called, or magical plant something, I forget what it's called. But basically they just took away its face and just made it into a plant. So now it's not a monster anymore. Now it's just, you know, a growth. Now it's just, you know, a plant creature. They don't even care anymore. It reduce, reduces, reduces its entire identity, which is also hilarious because it's not like people are going to use this anyway. But then we got the tiger zombie combo. Well, they ruined tiger zombie. They declawed your boy. They... <laughs> they saw it down his fangs. They covered up the hole in his eye with some bandages. How nice. He must have some free health care. And then also, they uh, took the fire out of his eyes. But the zombie that is controlling him, I don't know what they're doing with this man. But for some reason... <laughs> His face has went from being a skull into this like rat, this sinister rat looking face. Like why? Like what's up with these like rat teeth and eyes? I don't know about you, but I think that that is one of the oddest changes. Also, they changed the background from like a crimson blood to like a blue aura to like a blue darkish aura. So again, you know, just kind of changing the whole feel of the card. It just doesn't even... It doesn't even resemble itself anymore. It just looks and feels like something totally different at this point. It's, this is gonna be the final one. This is one that I find the most hilarious. So there is pretty much a goblin. He has fallen into the adhesive trap hole. And basically at the bottom of the adhesive trap hole is a whole lot of purple coom. Well, when this beast is stuck in the coom, apparently it matters if there is bones down there or a pot down there and clearly as I was saying before the bones must be the true issue the, the iconography of uh, death or maybe I don't know just bones in general I don't know but they have to get rid of these bones now what I think is funny is in, in the adhesive trap hole card the monster is actually looking at the bones like oh shit this is what's about to happen to me <laughs> but this <laughs> this alteration he's looking at that pot like oh <laughs> that's pretty nice <laughs> i hope they have some more of those at ikea once i get out of this adhesive travel <laughs> but he's never gonna come out but <laughs> but yes my boy and one more thing i do want to point out that they think is cool in china and they also think is cool in america and also japan is that's the thickness of these goblins i mean look they kept that thickness on the goblin <laughs> it kept them thick goblin hams my boy <laughs> in both images and left it unaltered and unchanged it's even unaltered and unchanged in america my boy so this is what i'm talking about when it comes to spicy ass censorship remove the bones but keep it thick. So that's going to be it for me today, my boys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you seen any of these censored images? And have you seen any other censored images? What's some of your favorite censored images, my boy? You can also follow me uh, on YouTube, Twitch. And I'm going to be bringing my Discord uh, back at it again. So there's also a link for that too somewhere. Um, and also I'm live streaming every day. Um, in the afternoon or the evenings. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to see that. As always, support your boy by becoming a member or using the link in the description to purchase Amazon things. Come on, man, you're doing it already. Hook your boy up by using my link below. And as always, keep it dank.